Hi, my name is Kyle Benson. I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Good observability and well-honed troubleshooting skills are fundamental to any on-call engineer's success. They provide the foundational data and tools that we need as humans to think critically about problems. But sometimes the specter of unknown unknowns can make troubleshooting difficult or feel impossible. We're trying to help make this process easier for customers of Google Cloud with our new investigations tool, which is part of Gemini Cloud Assist. The investigations feature is designed to aid in the troubleshooting flow started by you and your teammates. So you can start from scratch or within context across Google Cloud. The investigations feature takes the symptoms or error messages you provide, identifies the underlying issues, and recommends actionable solutions. Let's see how we can create an investigation to troubleshoot a live issue in our environment. For this example, we have a sample workload running in Google Kubernetes Engine. So we've received a page notifying us that there's an issue with our service. I'm going to open the Google Kubernetes workloads page to take a look at my application. It looks like the inventory app is having some issues. I can see that there's a crash loop back off error and it doesn't have the minimum availability. To dig into this further, I'm going to go into the container logs for this service and see what's happening. Once cloud logging loads these logs, I can see that there are some intermittent errors related to some kind of failure. If I click on this most recent error, we can see that Gemini offers this new investigate button. And if I click through, it'll let me create a new investigation. I'm going to change the name here to system is down. And just to show how important and urgent this is, I'll add a couple of exclamation points. I'm going to leave the start time, and then I'm going to scroll down here a little to say, what type of issue am I facing? I could see I have an error message or I want to describe what happened. In this case, we have an error message we think might be related to this failure. So I'm going to leave it as is with everything that it pre-populated. Then I'm going to let the relevant resources stay the same as well and I'm going to click Create. Once this investigation is created, Gemini will analyze the relevant resources and any other things it thinks might be relevant to try and solve this issue. So we'll give it a few moments to let it complete and see what's going on. It looks like it completed. We can first see a few relevant observations so if we wanted to see what was happening here, things that might be related to what created this issue, we can see that from here. We can also go straight to the summary of findings. It looks like the application recognizes some error on line 14 within the Python code. What this tells me as the on-call engineer is that there is some kind of error that was pushed to a recent change in this service and that the team responsible for this app needs to update the code to more gracefully solve these errors so that the container doesn't spontaneously crash when it hits that problem. From here, what we need to do is have the on-call engineer contact the other teams, re-roll the package, and re-roll our deployment. This should get us back online. If you try the suggestions provided by the investigations feature and the issue is still unresolved, you can always create a case with Google Cloud support and pass along the steps you've tried already with Gemini. In addition to the Logs Explorer, there are ways to initiate investigations across Google Cloud, such as from the Cloud Console chat or other services we're going to be introducing soon as well. Investigations redefines troubleshooting, leveraging generative AI to instantly surface insights, guide your decisions, and help you resolve issues faster than ever before. To learn more about investigations and other features of Gemini Cloud Assist, visit our website or you can go to Google Cloud Console to enable Gemini Cloud Assist today. I hope you found this helpful, and we're looking forward to getting your feedback on Gemini Cloud Assist. Oh.